It sounds like anyone ideating or sitting in a room brainstorming, sharing ideas, uh, it sounds like everyone needs to be complicit in this idea that it's okay that we make mistakes. Uh, sure. It's okay that we might not have the answers. Right. Um, do you, I, I think there's another muscle that businesses, that the making mistakes uh -huh. muscle is like a, a muscle that businesses don't flex enough right. or exercise enough. And I wonder how else you might tell people in a business to lower their bar, or lower their expectations sure. uh, in order to actually push forward or break through on new ideas. Well, of course, you know, we talk a lot about failure and failure still sucks. Don't get me wrong. You yeah. know, like no one actually wants to course, fail. Yeah. But I mean, if you can, from the beginning, structure things as experiments and do your failures as quickly and as cheaply as possible, which means more failures early on and fewer failures later on, uh, I think that's, a, that's a, a good skill to have. It's a good practice to have, right? And as a, unless you're the CEO, there is this skill that is quite useful, which is structuring everything as an experiment, right? Even for CEOs, this comes in handy. But imagine two scenarios. One, where I run into my boss's office and say, boss, boss, I got the greatest idea ever, right? And from a storytelling standpoint, by the way, never say, oh, this is the funniest story you ever right. heard. Because right away, people say, well, I'll be the judge yeah. of that, yeah. right? <laughs> so scenario one, you go in and say, I got the best idea ever, yeah. right? Scenario two turns out to be really effective for career management, impression management, you know, failure management is, hey boss, I'd like to propose the following experiment, right? It's an experiment already you've reduced the cost of failure, right? It's an experiment, of course. Experiments are supposed to fail some of the time, right? And so that more than anything else, I think that's part of the key to it, but of course, um, when, you're, when you're setting up the experiment, what you want to do it is make it as quick and cheap as possible. So in order to do that, you have to just test one thing. You're not trying to win over a customer and impress our people in the distribution channel and get my boss promoted and do this. It's like, okay, boss, here's the experiment and here is exactly what we're going to test with this experiment. Like try to screen everything out. And as soon as you make the experiment narrow enough, then it gets a lot cheaper and a lot easier to, to structure. Right? And so we're always trying to test kind of where's, wherever we can one thing at a time.